we as 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 Busito owners we concern also about it concerning our loans that we have in, in the bank. We have ready borrowed loans from the bank. We issue they issue us our service permit for two years to run the Busito then throughout surrounding in Belmopan the villages which in, is from Ontario, Tikettle, Kamalote, Rolling Creek, Belmopan. Then we have also from Mahane Heights, Franceri, uh, St. Matthews, Cotton Tree, Belmopan. We have from St. Margaret, Armenia, to Belmopan. And we have been, they have gotten us six hours for the day. Now you believe this is a breach of contract? Explain to us the contract that you have currently. We have a contract with them for two years. We had a road service permit. We have issued a road service permit. We pay for the road service permit so we could operate on the road. Because if we don't have a road service permit on the road, then the transport, traffic, the, the traffic transport will stop us and give us a ticket. So they decide to give us a, a run from these villages and they have proof of our service permits so we can have these runs throughout the areas in, in Belmopan. And these hours are supposed to be in effect until 2017? Uh, 2017, yes ma'am. Well, um, what happened with us in the group, what happened, we, we was forming a small group and then we became a bigger group. Some have road service permits have already expired already. We had some that will expire this year, and we have some that will expire 2017 and also 2018. So it's individual who get the road service late, they're the one who got a little more time to run. Now, how many bus operators will be affected by this change? We have 21 busitos that will be affected. Now, what's the specific reason that they gave to you guys that to say this is X, Y, and Z, why we're taking these six hours away? <coughs> Uh, the concern they bring to us is that they will give us the peak time, with the rush time that the people travel from, 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 from 6 in the morning to 9, to 9 in the morning. And you don't believe that those peak times you'll be able to maybe make more money than you work? Well, no, I probably not will be. It will affect us big time. And before these uh, changes happened or you were told about them, were there any consultations before trying to figure out whether this would be a good idea? No, we get one consultation from Emon Castro stating to us that this is what he's going to do. Cut us six hours for the day and I'll give six hours for the day. When we already have issued our road service permit that says six to six in the morning, he explained to us that he going to take out the six hours and just give it the peak hour, which is the busy hour in the morning and in the evening. And he also told us that he going to gasset it and carry it to the cabinet and it became a law. And did you guys express to him that we have a fundamental problem with it? We tried to explain to him and he didn't want to hear our concern. He even told us that he going to, he even told us what will happen to our, our, our loans or loans at the bank. He said he, he me not say no, no, no way can, can borrow no money if put any bullshit all day.